Okay, look, I'm gonna try to be brave here and make this uh, live. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sort of a, a strange little pentagon. So I'm gonna start with uh, this balloon here. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do is make four bubbles. One, two, three, four. Okay, now to these four bubbles, I'm going to add two more. A different one. one, two, and I'm going to put them on like this. Now I can let the second one go because I don't really care about it. So I continue on. One, two. And I add two more to it. So that's going to be here. Uh, one, two. And I can let them go and pop around like this. And then finally, one, two. So, and essentially, what I have is a big hexagon with a big balloon and a little one at every vertex. Now, what I want to do is I want to join up uh, this one to this one, and I want to do it in a very strange way. So, first, I'm going to make a sort of a big one here, and then two small ones. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the original color. So that's okay. And I'm going to continue on with the, the white one here, a big one, and two small ones, but this I'm going to join up to the other two small ones I just made. Okay, so that's right here. Okay, so they're going to link at the small point, and I'm going to continue on back to the white one here. Okay, linking them up. Okay, and then the final one is a little bit tricky, and so it's a big one. And then, um, how I've got to get back to here, so I'm just going to hold it. Ooh. Big, small, over through that to join up in the middle one. And then another little guy here. So, now, if you look, you've got a center point, and then these ones joined up with the same colors that are on each. And so, my original hexagon is actually somehow around this outside here. Now, a little bit tricky, I'm going to pull these the long ones through these little gaps I made. And so, the way I'm going to do that is I have to make five balloons out of the long one, and so i got to be a little bit careful. Okay, one... So point through and then pull through. And slide this in there. Okay. And now onto the pink. Oops. Onto the pink. And so, uh oh, what happened here? Oh, yes, there it is. There's the one I want to join through. So, one. Slide that in. And this one here. Slide it through here. Okay. So now, what do we have? We have um, three long ones coming out in front, and then our original three that we let go. And the other side, there is our hexagon with the three little guys. And so now, what we must do is um, we're going to make this pink one go around the middle one of this. And so we're going to reclaim our, our, our split here. And then we're going to go around this guy and down through. Okay, so we need four out of this. One, two, three, four. And so we've got to be a little bit careful here. So let's get rid of it. So one around here. And then around here. And then this one we can go down. And then we'll connect up there. And so the next one, same thing. Uh, we need four of this, and so don't be too generous. One. And then 
and around this guy. We need three more. And down here. And then finally, this guy, which might be a little bit tricky. So we need two, three more of this, huh? So this one's not going to stick as well, but we've got to do it. And two more. It's going to go down here, out there, and down to the bottom. And now let's deal with this side. So this guy's going to go here. Make a little bubble and pull him around. This guy, same sort of thing, make a little bubble. Pull him around through. And then finally, this last one, the bubble, and pull him around the other side. Okay, so so far so good on this side. Everything's five. Now the last step is to make sure this last part comes together. And so all we have to do is take the little, the little ties here and then pull them around through. So let's start with um, this purple one here. It's a little bit longer than I would like, but that's okay. Pulling him through. And then the white one. Pulling him through. And finally, the pink one. Pulling him through. So we little... You can massage it a bit to make sure that everything um, fits carefully together. But, um, there we go. And the cosahedron. Um, and as you get better, and hopefully I will, uh, you'll be able to um, make things a little bit more even. So you can see that some of these are shorter than others. This is a fairly long one. So, but essentially, there you have it. And I cost a heat drink. Yay! <laughs> Cheers.